So when you put the circuit on at this point, uh, the the LED the LED turns on and the motor is turning as well. Uh, so, but we, we, we have to put a, 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 a we're going to, to set a percentage on the potentiometer when should the motor start turning and the relay when it's supposed to go on. So let's say that we are now the one percentage of the potentiometer and we're going to assume we're heating now the sensor here. The temperature inside the sensor is rising. So as I increase the temperature here, you can see the motor turns start turning and the uh, LED uh, also turns on indicating that the relay is on. Okay, uh, so that's kind of really useful there. Uh, so I'm going to increase again to about 2 percentage and then I'm going to increase the temperature here. So I'm assuming I'm heating of the, uh, of the sensor is, is now um, reading the temperature. And then as you can see when it reaches 10 degrees, uh, the motor turns on as well. Okay, so this is uh, kind of really easy. As you can see, the circuit is very easy. It's not really complicated. A uh, few components and then everything works great. Um, I'm going to let's go about 5 percentage and then you're going to increase the temperature. So about 24. So and at this point now, let's say we, we set up our temperature uh, about 24 degrees, meaning the circuit when you put the power on is going to do nothing. It's going to be waiting uh, for the temperature to, uh, to rise up to 24 degrees. Uh, until then is when the relay will turn on. So assuming again we are heating the, the, the sensor here, and the temperature has, ri uh, has risen up to 24 degrees or 25 and the fan starts turning so that's how really how this thing work uh, you can also decrease it here and then I uh, also gonna go down about 14, uh, 14 uh, degrees Nothing is happening, and when it's just about, if you increase 15 volt, uh, uh, 15 degrees, then the uh, the fan start turning. So we're gonna go ahead to the uh, on the breadboard, and then I'm gonna try to connect everything step by step, and then yeah, so that you can follow and get the idea how to connect this stuff. Uh, I just have to say on this side here, you really have a, a big. Um, uh, you can do you can add anything you want on this side. You just have to check your relay, uh, the capability of your relay. So you take a big relay. If you take a big relay, you also have to change the, the transistor here that, that drives the relay as well. Uh, but on this point here, the relay I'm going to be using is about 16 uh, amperes. So it's kind of uh, have a, a quite.